Okay, tonight I'm gonna make lasagna. So I'm gonna do four different cheeses, spinach, I'm gonna saute some spinach, here's my noodles and marinara, and then I'm gonna mix my beef and some sausage together. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ground beef and my sausage and saute it. And the reason why it's in a plastic Ziploc freezer bag is because I get a like large, like three pounds of ground beef and then I split it up into three one pound bags and then I can freeze it and squeeze it out, freeze it, and then it can easily fit a lot quicker in my uh, freezer and then it also thaws out a lot quicker. Okay, now that I got my meats in the pan, I'm going to mix them up and make sure they're fully cooked and then I will set it aside. I'm using my uh, circular, circular, I don't know. It's my new nonstick pan. It works great. Uh, so I didn't have to add any oil or grease into this. And I don't add grease. I usually just add oil. But um, because of the beef and the sausage, I knew they were gonna have some fat. There's too much fat in here for our family. So I'm gonna drain it. Taking it to the strainer, I put my strainer with some paper towels, and then I'm gonna like try to carefully do this without spilling too much. Okay. And now I'm not gonna wipe out this pan because I'm gonna use that little bit of grease in there to saute my baby spinach. Okay, put my fresh spinach in there, and I'm gonna saute this down. Uh, You'll know the difference because it will be about half the size, maybe even less than that. Probably about a fourth of this uh, amount of spinach left in the pan. Okay, now that my water is boiling, I'm gonna add my lasagna noodles and they're gonna boil for four minutes. Now I'm gonna put these lasagna noodles in the pan one at a time so they do not stick together and I'm going to just boil them for four minutes and then we're going to place them in our baking dish for our lasagna and layer them up. Great. Now you see all the spinach has been cooked down. I'm going to add a little salt and pepper for some extra seasoning and uh, then I'm just going to set it aside and we will layer this in our lasagna pan. Okay, now I'm going to take my fresh mozzarella and I am going to slice it up. Slice it up using my Cuisinart knife. Right on. It just turned off the noodle water, so now I'm going to drain them. It's been four minutes. Okay, now I'm gonna take my three cheeses and I'm going to mix them together in the bowl. About added about half of the parmesan cheese two and a half ounces and now i'm gonna add about uh, one and a half cups of mozzarella to mix in i'm gonna save some to sprinkle on top of the pot i'm gonna save about a half a cup of the mozzarella cheese to sprinkle on top of the lasagna before we bake it 
In the cheese mixture, I am gonna add a little bit of minced garlic. It's about kind of a lot, two tablespoons. I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning. And I'm also gonna add a dash of salt and pepper and some fresh organic basil from my garden. Okay, got all of our ingredients together. We got our spinach sauteed, our cheese mixture with a few spices, our noodles are cooked, mozzarella, or mo yeah, mo mozzarella. Not a mistake. Marinara sauce right out of the jar, some extra fresh mozzarella in our meat. Okay, let's get to layering. First, you add your sauce so your noodles won't stick to the pan. Okay, next, I'm gonna add the lasagna noodles and then add some of that cheese. Now let's add the sauteed spinach. is that sausage and beef mix. We're gonna be generous with this because we do have like two pounds. And my family likes meat. Let's add a couple slices of the fresh mozzarella. And then we're gonna pour some sauce over it. are kind of sticking together. Wasn't expecting that or I completely forgot about it. So flipping them over Ooh, and they're still hot. Okay I'm gonna put them on my next layer. I always seem to cook way too many lasagna noodles. Come apart. Oh. Okay, they're kind of stuck together. Uh, layer. We're gonna add the rest of the spinach, and everything's that's cold now. So my hands are already very lasagna. I'm gonna add the rest of our cheese. I think everyone's getting ready. Oh, want some of my Sprinkled on the last of the cheese on the top. As you see, everything kind of gets a little messy. But now it's ready to go in the oven at 350. I'm gonna put my foil on for about 30 minutes and then I'll take the foil off of it uh, the last 15 minutes. It's in the oven at 350. I put a pan underneath it just because I always make my lasagna so full that sometimes they boil over. So. 30 minutes with the foil on, and then we'll do 15 minutes with the foil off. Here's a tip, save your marinara pasta sauce jar, uh, just rinse it out and dry it, and then you can use it to uh, hold any like grease, like bacon grease or beef grease, so it doesn't go down your sink or in your trash. You're supposed to like put it in a jar and then throw it away. So I just realized after reading the box that I was supposed to cook the lasagna at 425 for 20 minutes. 
So, uh, changed my oven. I'm heating it up. And so I'm gonna bake it for another, at 425 for 10 minutes. Okay, the lasagna's looking good. I just turned off the foil. I'm gonna let it bake for another five minutes without the foil and then take it out. Okay, there you have it. There's the lasagna. I'm ready to eat. Meat, cheese, and spinach.